Welcome to Icy Kicks. On today's show, well, we're going to be doing something completely new to the channel. We're going to be unboxing one of these, a Tamiya Mercedes-Benz 114th Actros 3363 uh, three-axle truck. Absolutely massive. Now, this kit was based on an original truck that won Truck of the Year in 2012, and it can pull a massive 250 tonnes. That's the real one, not the model, obviously. So completely new. I've never built a truck on the show before or myself personally. So I'm really looking forward to this one. So let's unbox it and see what you get for your money. Now this is kit 56348. In the UK, they're currently retailing for around 400 pound. First impressions, well, they've actually gone to some trouble to actually give you a nice impression of the kit when you open it up there's different compartments with different things in like that now it's no there's no blister packs or anything like that but there seems to be a lot in here i get the feeling this one's going to take me quite a while what else can i tell you about this kit well there's different versions of it this one is one that i have to paint myself but you can get ones that are pre-painted but you still got to build them in like a blue and there's a few other ones there's a black one as well um what else can i tell you about it well this kit will take the mfu which is the multi-function unit mfu-3 from tamiya that's the sound the light the vibration kit it all fits really nicely into this and then the actual control panel is hidden in one of the fuel tanks and then there's a flap you can open up and you can adjust all the volumes and stuff now they're quite expensive at in the uk Okay, they're 269 pound i'm thinking about getting one uh, the thing is comment below if you've built one of these is it easy to retrofit it once you built the kit or should you really look at getting it now and then as you build the kit you fit it depends i don't know whether the wiring is a lot harder once you've built the actual truck itself versus doing it as you go so comment below uh it's quite expensive but uh if it's a real nightmare to fit it after you've built it i'll probably wait on the build for this until i've got the money to buy that kit and then i'll do it all in one go if you've got one of these you've got to get a trailer now there's quite a few trailers out there the two that i'm interested in one is the fuel tank trailer uh, that's 56333 and that retails in the UK for 319 pound also the other one that I'm really interested in is uh, 56330 40 foot container semi they call it and that's 389 pound so you can pay just as much for a trailer as you do for the actual truck itself obviously this doesn't come with any electronics it does come with a motor but then someone else has commented that the silver can motor you shouldn't put that into these trucks because it's too overpowered you should go for something um, that's more of a higher turn uh, so it's more smoother and slower um, so comment below anyone got an idea what motor I should fit in this let me know this is all new territory for me so I'll take any advice from anyone that's built these and run these before I think that pretty much covers everything so let's take a look at what you get so windscreens one thing I have had a sneak peek at this there seems to be all an interior and stuff but we'll come to that so windscreens side windows it's not one big whole thing you actually screw in the windows individually by the looks of it now even though this desk is big I think I'm going to run out of room uh, massive Mercedes fan I drive a Mercedes myself an old one granted but uh yes i've had a couple of mercedes over my life and so is my family so we're a big mercedes fan and i support uh, mercedes formula one team so that's kind of another reason why i decided to go for this because tamia do lots of trucks i did think about doing an old american truck and that that's why the music at the beginning is not really relevant but i kind of liked it so maybe after this one if you guys and girls like watching me build one of these on the show maybe i'll do another tamia truck which is like an old american truck or something like that i don't know anyway i digress then we have what look like wings so there's a lot more parts to the body obviously it's a hard body steps not sure what they are uh front wings i think they are inner wings maybe i honestly don't know then we've got wheel arches and a load of other random parts these are the wheel arches that go on the back i guess then we have a whole like what looks like an engine compartment bit bumper mercedes logo 
that goes on the grill. Then we have uh, lights and bumpers and push bars and what have you. So I honestly don't know how long it's going to take me to build this one. Um, I did see you can get little oil shocks as well. Comment below, let me know if they're worth getting. Lights, badge, I like the badge, mirrors, all kinds of bits, uh, bits and pieces. It's quite high detail, this one. Then we have what look like fuel tanks and the side tanks of one thing or another, uh, compressed air or whatever. Um, it's basically the same again, an oil tank and a few other bits and pieces. And then what is that? It's like an internal part. That's, I'm guessing, where you fit a lot of your internal electronics because you can pack in a lot into these. Uh, you can even get a driver. I did see that there's a uh, optional driver that you can put in the cab. What's this? It looks like the exhaust stack that goes on the side and a load of other random bits and pieces. So that's the first bin done. Let's move on to the body side of it. So we've got the lower grill of the actual cab itself. Not sure what those bits are. Then we have, this one surprised me. This one's got a full dash that you can paint. Seats, steering wheel, column. Uh, not sure what that is. So there is, a, there is pretty much an interior to fit in this truck. So of course it's very different to cars that you do. Um, this looks like the top section of the truck. Uh, and maybe a bumper section and, and it's like an aero part in that one. This will probably give you the best idea of scale. That's the top section of the truck. So this thing is going to be big. It's going to be very big. Uh, especially when you start adding the trailer on, which I'm looking forward to doing. But obviously, the, I get the feeling the trucks, you have to buy them in stages. Like, get the cab, then if you get the, what is it called, MFU, then add a trailer later on. And then uh, you can actually have, like, the legs go down on the trailer, so you can, you can hitch and unhitch the trailer remotely. Pretty cool. Um, so uh, this one will be a long, ongoing one for sure because once you add up all that, you're looking at well over a thousand pound. And some other bits and pieces, not sure, more internal parts that I have no clue. So that's the second, if you, if you will, second part. Then the third part, oh, it's actually just a thin section. So we have the manual and some decals and stickers and bits and pieces. And then some actual metal plate parts there that's actually metal oh, I guess that's like the steps and stuff like that I guess so what's in this box then Let's have a look. all right so we have tires <laughs> and quite a few of them <laughs> one two one two so you've got two they seem different you've got two big thick tires then you've got four thinner tires so that's all the tires. Then, oh gosh, there's so much stuff. Then we've got, oh, this is all the bags for the uh, suspension. So maybe that is oil suspension. I don't know, I honestly don't know. Uh, bag A, just loads of screws. Bag D has got like motor mounts, pinion gears, that kind of thing. And a lot of the parts for the three uh, gear transmission. More bolts, some brackets. So there's a lot more to this kit. Uh, ceramic grease and some tools and bits and pieces. Silver cam motor. An extension uh, for the battery lead. That's weird. Then we've got the diffs, or one diff, no, two diffs, two diffs. And this one, then you've obviously got all the springs and you get some bearings and a lot of bushes as well. And that's pretty much, oh, then that's the selector gear that goes in the gearbox. So we'll do a close up in a minute with a full montage. I think the montage is going to take a while because it's a lot of parts. And we've got one more box to do, which is this one here. And I've no idea what's in this one either. So let's have a look. Oh my God, there's even more parts. So we've got some more, I guess the light parts, some more bits for the lights. That's the, what they call it, fifth wheel, is it? The hitch bit. Why is there two? Seem to have two of them, and they are different. I don't know. Is it different types? Honestly, no idea. 
Then we've got parts of the three gear transmission. I recognize those from the F350. Some internal, oh, they're the uh, ax, the frame, they, the frame separators. Uh, steering parts by the looks of it and more frame separators. Then we got the wheels. They're pretty cool. They look really cool. <laughs> uh, gearbox housing, I recognize that. And then we've got the fixed axles. Uh, what else have we got? More lights. And then we've got the gears for the gearbox. Some red, what's that? Oh, that must be some like reversing lights or brake lights or something in red. And the last but not least, a uh, tower of some sort. I have no idea what this one is. No idea. Mount servo horn, maybe, uh, no idea. And that is pretty much everything you get for your money. So what we'll do is we'll do a montage so you can get a real good look at it, and then we'll come back and wrap up. And there's your first look at the Tamiya 114th Mercedes-Benz Acros 3363. Comment below, let me know what you think. Should I build it first and then put the electronics in it or is it too much of a problem and I should just wait, get the electronics and then build it all as one go? Let me know in the comments below. I really enjoy digging through this and I think it's gonna be a good solid week build for me as well as getting all the painting done before you put it all together. Anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe. And if you'd head over to the RC Kicks Patreon page, there's loads of behind the scenes RC goodness that comes out every day. Thanks very much. Bye bye.